revenge of the running back. The Josh Jacobs saga continues. Here we go. First off, even though Josh Jacobs has not signed his franchise tag, the second he is designated as a franchise tagged player by the team, he, his, salary, his salary goes against the salary cap for the season. So he is directly affecting the Las Vegas Raiders' ability to be ready for the season currently. If he doesn't play this season. Start out week one as running back number one because they don't have another running back number one. He is it. These all, all these other guys are are hoping to be running back number twos, but none of them are running back number one currently. They may end up running back number one by default, but on any other fucking NFL franchise in the league, none of these other six motherfuckers are starting. Not a single one. Quit kidding your fucking selves. This is the only RB1 currently half-ass on the roster. He's not really on the roster, but you get it. So, he is currently affecting the salary. So, can they rescind the franchise tag, and what does that do? Yes, they can rescind the franchise tag, and what that would do would free up money via the salary cap, but that would also make Josh Jacobs immediately an unrestricted free agent. That would allow them to possibly go out and, and maybe make a move to get a Dalvin Cook or somebody else, an Ezekiel Elliott, or, or another RB1 to come in and fill in for Josh Jacobs. Because you don't have one. You've got this guy. You got this guy. You got this guy. You got this guy. You got this guy, and you got this guy. But none of them are an RB1 in the National Football League, and they wouldn't be on any one of the other 31 NFL franchises. This is a fact. So you've got to figure out what you're going to do going forward with Josh Jacobs. He does not have a deadline to sign the tag until the Tuesday after week 10. So we can literally be talking about this until the 10th week of the season. 